Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video has been highly requested. Um, a bunch of you wanted to see how I do my full coverage tips. Um, I am a gel allergy sufferer, so I cannot use jelly tips. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm starting with my prep. Um, I use some Triple D cuticle conditioner and the cuticle um, pumice cuticle stick from Triple D. Funny story, I didn't even know Triple D sold these pumice sticks until like a month ago. I was just randomly browsing the whole website because I was bored and I wanted to spend money and I wanted to get some new stuff and I had no idea she even sold these. So I grabbed a bunch of them and I love them. Um, I highly recommend using pumice or glass cuticle pushers um, for your nails. It's just so much more gentle. It's not going to cause any damage to your nail. So right now I'm just working that cuticle conditioner around the skin of my nail. And what this does is obviously it conditions your skin. It makes it nice and soft so that that dead cuticle is easily able to just come right off. So now I switch over to my glass cuticle stick and I like to use the pointy end um, which is why I switched to this one. See this step is gross um, but you can see it brings off all of that dead nasty goopy cuticle. It also is going to remove any extra little um, glue or tip that I had when I soaked off on there, you could see like a little bit of the residue from the tip when before I put on the cuticle conditioner. Um, but I love the cuticle conditioner by Triple D. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've tried cuticle removers. I've tried like the Sally Hansen one and a couple other ones. I actually get chemical burns from them. Um, if you read the packaging on them, they are very specific. Um, recommending not to leave it on for longer than like a minute and that is because there's some kind of chemical in those removers that remove the cuticle um, but the triple d cuticle conditioner i guess is just formulated different because i have left that stuff on for like five minutes when i first got it just to see if i would develop a chemical burn with it and I did not and it softens my cuticles way better than any of those other ones so I'm now taking my glass bohemian it's called bohemian glass file um, that's the company that makes them but I like to use a glass nail file on my natural nails and I'm just gonna shorten my natural nails ever so slightly since they were already short um, and I recommend kind of rounding the tips of your natural nail just because in my experience whenever I have like super square natural nails and then I go and I put a tip on top um, I seem to get lifting like the square sharp end of my natural nail will just lift so well I guess not really lift but separate from my nail tip if that makes sense so now I'm just going in with some rubbing alcohol and just cleaning off now that I have gotten the prep done on my natural nails. That is literally all I'm going to do to my natural nail. So I'm going to take my tips. I'm going to pull out the sizes that are going to fit my nail. I'm going to only show doing just my thumb just because it would be so repetitive and if you need to see it more than once, you can just rewind back to whatever point you need to go to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e-file. I have my cuticle ball bit in here. This is just the bit that I like to use for this. Um, other people use other bits, just whatever works for you. And I'm just going to etch the inside of the nail tip. And the reason I do this is so that I don't have to file my natural nail. I don't want to file my natural nails anymore. I want them to grow out and be nice and healthy and clear. <laughs> no more white spots. So I like to just etch the inside of 
my nail tip as opposed to filing my nails. Now I'm just going in with a prep. This is the one I got with my Gigi's Custom um, goodies the other day. And now I'm just going to use my Triple D Dip Base. And all I do is I just apply a bead of this. You can use nail glue if you want to, but your dip base and your dip top coat is essentially a glue. So it works perfectly for this. I do like to start putting the glue at the cuticle area and push it up just so that when you first lay the brush down, you're not getting a big bead of the glue closer to the free edge area, if that makes sense. I'm just adding a little bit more because I got my finger stuck to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it down for a second and let that glue kind of go more towards the cuticle area. And then I'm going to slide it onto my nail and I'm going to press down nice and firm. You don't have to be super, super hard. But then I like to kind of just move my finger around different ways just to make sure 100% that it is on there straight. And in a second, it's going to look like I have some air bubblies on my nails. It's not actually air bubbles. I just kind of glued my finger on top of the tip for a second. So that's what that is. So now that I've got my tip applied and it is on there, I've never had any issues with any of my nails popping off. And I've been doing these full coverage tips for... Mm, I want to say like almost a year now since my gel allergy I switched to these so now I'm just going to clip them down trim them down to the size that I want I love this tip cutter that I got on Amazon because it has these different um, cutting sizes on there so you can cut all your nails down to the same same size so super super cool I love that so now I got my tip applied and I do dip over top of my full coverage tips just because I wear them naked in between uh, my dip powder manis. So I like to give them a little bit more strength. So I'm just going around with that same cuticle bit, the cuticle ball bit, and this is just going to get off any of the dip base or glue that may be on my cuticles is just gonna break that up. And then the rest I like to just do with my hand file. So I'm taking my 180 grit file and I'm going around my cuticle area first and just making sure, I do this just to kind of make the tip a little bit more flush to make it look a bit more natural. Um, I will say these are my favorite full coverage tips. And now I'm just filing the whole surface of my nail because like I said, I'm going to dip and the dip powder is not going to want to stick to the tip the way that it is all smooth and shiny. So I'm going to really rough this up really well and make sure there's no more shiny spots on there. Um, but like I was saying, these are my favorite full coverage tips. I get them off of Amazon. I will have everything linked down below. Um, but I've tried a bunch of different full coverage tips like normal plastic ones like these I think I am just sensitive to everything because all the other ones I have used I can like feel the weight of them they are just so uncomfortable some of them are too tight feeling and these I I can't even feel these these are just definitely my go-to tips so I will leave them linked down below or you can use whatever full coverage tips you have if you already have some. So now I'm getting started with a clear dip and I'm just gonna do um, about halfway just because these ones, the only thing I don't like about the plastic ones and not being able to use actual jelly tips is I feel like the shape on jelly tips is so much nicer. Like they have that nice apex already built in whereas most full coverage tips kind of don't I mean they have a little bit of a shape but not much so after I've dipped you can kind of see better where I did my first dip and now I'm done with the clear I'm not going to do any more clear now I'm going to switch over to 
my French pink. I use Sassy French pink from Sparkle & Co. It is my go-to. I always use it when I do um, my overlays over top of my full coverage tips. You can use a French pink or you can just continue and keep using clear. It is totally up to you. I just don't like to see my natural nail underneath. I like to have a little bit of color there just to kind of hide any imperfections or any damage that I might have to my natural nail. Um, but I just, I like the hint of the pink. It reminds me of when I was able to do my pink boulder gel. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do two normal dips in the French pink. I don't cap this in clear. Um, just because one, I always keep in mind that I'm going to be doing dip powder on over top of this, my colored dip. This is just my foundation to protect my nails and to obviously give me some length. So I'm just going to do two dips of this. I'm going to activate. I also don't file, um, my overlays you will see cause I'm going to show my filing process, but I just file around my cuticle to, you know, clean up my cuticle area, get everything nice and flush. Um, but other than that, if you really take your time with this and you don't use too much base to where you get lumps or anything, um, I'm able to just buff the surface of my nail. And that is what works for me. Like I said, I've been using these tips for close to a year now. So I have tried a bunch of different ways to do an overlay on these. I've tried leaving them just as tips with no overlay whatsoever and they bend a bit because they don't have the strength that the jelly tips have to them. They're just, you know, plastic. Um, they say acrylic, but let's be real. So yeah, they bend. I've tried doing two dips in the pink and then a dip of clear. So as far as dipping goes, this is just what works best for me. Um, but if you want to try doing full coverage tips, you can do as many dips as you want. Try it out. Find what works for you. It's going to depend on how rough you are on your nails too. Um, I'm the only one that does anything here because it's just me and Gabe now. So my hands take a beating like my little corny transition. I went ahead and did the rest of my nails, I only wanted to show one on camera because we'd be here for, for a while. Um, if I'm not filming, I can actually get both hands done and applied and dipped and all that um, in like an hour. So for me, I love doing this much more now as opposed to doing like the normal, traditional like half tips that you would get if you go to the salon. For me, they just take so much longer. I did those for probably a couple months after I got my gel allergy. Um, and I'll be honest with you, because I'm DIY and I was doing them so much because I will say when it comes to fill-ins, you can really only do so many fill-ins with dip powder before it just gets too bulky. So... I do like one fill in with these tips and then I just soak off and do a new set and I'm comfortable doing that because like I showed you in the beginning of the video, I just etched the inside of the tip and not my nail. So I can really do these as often as I want to. Um, so you saw I just took my, I believe it's my 150 grit file from Young Nails. It's one of my very favorite files. Um, and I just go around my cuticle just to clean up that dip, make my cuticle and sidewall area nice and flush and just natural looking. And here you can see all I'm doing is just buffing the whole surface of my nail, getting it nice and smooth because this is when I want my nail to be nice and smooth because after this, I would go in with peel base and do my color dip. So now you're going to see I am filing and shaping my nail. I really like the shape of these tips after I clip them down a bit. So I'm just really trying to follow that shape and just straighten it up and redefine that. Um, these tips, by the way, are considered ballerina. 
um, but you can do coffin. They have stiletto, um, almond. You really can get the regular full coverage tips in any shape that you want. I am nervous to go full coffin. They're a little too narrow for me, so I do really like the look of the ballerina ones cut down because it kind of just makes it into like my perfect tapered square, if that makes sense. So after I have my shape all redefined, I go back in with my buffer just because underneath the nails can kind of get a little bit sharp just because they are fresh. So I like to just buff the undersides of my nails and get them nice and smooth. And that is pretty much it. I went ahead and filed and shaped the rest of my nails. And now look at this, you guys. This was a fun little surprise I literally got in the mail while I was doing my nails. This is not released yet, but it will be soon. This is the brand new Triple D cuticle oil. When it comes out, I would definitely let you guys know. I love this. I love that it's not a floral scent. I don't know about any of you guys, but a lot of the flowery floral cuticle oils, they really give me a headache especially the lavender ones this one to me is like a fruity strawberry scent it's very mild um and it's so good this oil is not greasy whatsoever i was so so surprised i'm gonna leave everything linked in the description box down below with the exception of course of the cuticle oil it is not available yet if you have any questions leave it in the comment down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.